Now I shouldn't have a max recording time. This just works out perfect because every time we go to do something, Charlie's gone. Now when he comes in, we can do this with Alright, so let's do a negative exponent one and then I'll stop and let you be on your own. What, tell me before I do, if I give you something like this, what does that look like when you graph it? Because that's one of those parent functions. Which is what? It's going to be the one at the top of the... It's a reciprocal, that's right. It, there is an asymptote here. There's an asymptote here. I don't like that word. Asymptote? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Asymptote. Oh, wait. Yeah. Looks uh, like that, right? Yeah, like so when you're doing the range and stuff, you have to like asymptote. Do it to, like, if, if that's like negative one, you have to do like infinity. So like, wherever do that asymptote is, yeah. Do the quiz thing. Do the quiz thing. I am, as soon as I finish this. I am. What? What are you talking All right. About? Even or odd? Odd. Odd. How do you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he had a 50 50 <laughs> shot. <laughs> well, that doesn't always help him. But. <laughs> All right. So let's do an example of a negative exponent and then I will stop and we will be done. Close to done anyway. So all we do is graph it and say those things. Wait, yeah, I mean, not, doing doing not quite. Uh, we're not doing it with transformations and stuff now. Would it, like, let me show you. Okay. Give me like, show me like one number. Is this your example right here? I need, I need this. Give the, us an example of one that's going to be like split. I am. This is not bad. No, it's going to get some more dishes. It'll get bad started tomorrow, but today it'll be pretty easy. Oh my god. Don't worry about tomorrow. Alright. Alright, so let's do this. Oh, I don't know. Alright, let's do this. 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 Alright, let's Was it negative one third or was it three? Negative one third. Negative one third x to the six. It looks the exact same as I should have made it positive. That's yeah. okay. Why you put that up arrow and then six instead of just putting? Because the calculator's old. Because you have to do the x. This is an older calculator than what you have. That's right. Some of us couldn't afford the brand new one, Charlie, and we have the older version. That's okay. And so now I can't afford a. Wait, are we doing? All right. So. Huh? We're doing positive or negative? Negative. 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 Evens. We should have done the odd, shouldn't we? We haven't done an odd. Well, let's make this odd. Let's make this to the fifth. Sorry, let's make it to the fifth. Since we just did an even. The fifth. Hmm. Whoa. So that's, this is where I get confused with increasing and decreasing. Okay, so let's look at it. All right. Yes. You put the. It's so much on the second time. But it's like 803900. 803 is cute. Could be so much Wait, that's my number. 803900. Oh, 1650? No, no, no. They call it, answer it. They call twice. They call twice. I'm going to give it one more time. But then I will because my daddy's in the hospital right now. So it makes me nervous. But something like that. Why is this in the chat? All right. As you can see, these will all start to look the same. And just to show you, let me just show you if I change this to like a 7 instead of a 5. 
Why am I doing this? Why did I not make this a negative exponent? That's literally what I just told y'all we were doing. What is wrong with me? Make this negative. Make this. Golly, jeez. Oh my goodness. Golly, jeez. Just begin. Let's make it negative five. All right, now Delaney's stressed out. Just like the monomial functions who are either even or odd, your ones like this who are. What are those things over there? Wait, what? It's like a single thing. We'll do it. Um, I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, what's it called? You won't, your calculator won't show you the asymptote. That's why I wanted to show you on here. See how it's it's hugging, it's hugging, it's hugging, it's hugging. But it's not going to show you the actual asymptote. You have to know that, okay? And because we yeah, have zero and zero, and because this is um, an odd, it is an odd symmetry, right? Because it's the fifth. If I changed it to an even, let's say I changed it to four, watch what happens. Right? So now it becomes an even symmetry. So here's what they're going to look like. Yeah. These are the odds. It's either going to, this is an odd with a negative that's flipped over. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The evens, though, yeah. are going to look. These are whenever your negative exponent is even. This is what they're going to look like. You still have those asymptotes? Okay. So this one is a negative odd. Odd. This is when the leading coefficient is negative. This is when the leading coefficient is positive. This is when the leading coefficient is positive. This is when the leading coefficient is negative. Okay. So this is always kind of like those others. The, the monomials are going to look like the parabolas with, that are kind of smooshed down there on the edge. That's what these are going to look like in general. Okay. Are you all with me? Because I kind of went off on the rails there whenever I went back to what I was already doing. All right. So let's graph this negative one-third x to the negative five. Tell me first, what is it going to look like? What, which pattern is it? Is it pattern one, pattern two, three, or four? One. One, because it's an odd negative and the leading coefficient is negative. So it should look like this when I graph it. So when I do negative one third, negative five, that is in fact what it looks like. Okay. For these, I won't even make you find the exact points, just sketch it. Just sketch it. Can you just go back to that little thing real quick? Just like, no, 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 like, hit the minus. The mirror board. All right. All right, the only thing that I do need to talk to you about with analysis-wise here really quickly is the end behavior and how it's going to look a little different than what we've normally been doing, okay? Now you're used to, so if I'm in this situation here, right, you are used to saying as x approaches infinity, f of x, what does f of x get closer to as I go to infinity? Zero. Zero. And as f of x, or as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches what? Zero. Zero. But there's two more places that I need to talk about, and this is brand new, so pay attention. As we approach that, because really I've got these ends here that I need to talk about, right? So here's what I say. I say as x approaches 0, and then I do a little minus sign. What this tells me is as x approaches 0 from the left. Okay. In other words, as x approaches 0 from the negative side of 0, so as I come in this way, 
and I get closer and closer to zero, what is my function doing? What's it approaching? Infinity. That's exactly right. Now I do the same thing, but I need to come in from the positive side. And this is the part that gets confusing as to which side you're looking. So now, as I approach zero from the positive side, f of x approaches what? Negative infinity. Does everybody see where I'm getting those values? Where the little plus and the little minus are coming from? Is it continuous or no? no? No. What type of discontinuity? Infinite. Infinite. That's exactly right. <coughs> Light work. Light work? Yep. We'll talk more about this definitely tomorrow, but tell me. We know the end behaviors here is x goes to infinity, f of x goes to zero but I want you to tell me the other two end behaviors here as x approaches zero to zero to the negative let's say that's two so as, it approaches zero. as x approaches zero to negative. as x approaches zero here's where it's zero as x approaches two. two from which side from negative, so that means the left side of 2, what does f of x equal? Negative. Or what does f of x go to? Negative, negative infinity. Right? Then as x approaches 2, this time is it from the positive or the negative? Positive. From the positive side, f of x approaches what? So now, if you've got vertical asymptotes, you're going to have four parts to your end behavior. Left, right, and either side of the asymptote. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.